Hi, my name is Rosie Nguyen. I'm from Vietnam. Today I'm going to talk about Tết in Vietnam. So, what is Tết? Tết or Vietnamese Lunar New Year is the grandest and most important occasion in, in the year. Vietnamese follow the lunar calendar, so it's different every year. It falls somewhere between 19 January and 20 February on the Western calendar. What do we do before Tết? Tết is also the longest holiday in Vietnam. The celebration officially lasts from 7 up to 9 days. Although depending on how long people want to celebrate, they can be even longer in practice. The preparation starts weeks before, while the highlight in is a few days before the holiday itself. The first thing to do is cleaning the house. Everything gets properly cleaned and fixed up in the time before death. It symbolizes removing old things and bad luck, welcoming the New Year's fortunes. To start a new year, you should pay all debt before death. And it was a shopping time. We will go to buy decoration items, flower, plants, new clothes to wear during death. And many unique dishes are prepared for welcoming the new year. This includes some of the old traditional dishes from the time of no refrigerator. At that time, everything had to be either pickled or wrapped or conserved to last during the days of celebration, as most places where the fresh foods are closed. How do we celebrate that? There are some symbols of that. For example, um, the flowers, trees, and special fruit, the colors and decoration, zodiac system, yin and yang, sea element, and astronomical symbols, the offerings and burning, lucky money and gift, fresh of traditional food. The typical plants you will see in any house are campot or peach blossom in the northern of Vietnam, or apricot blossom in the southern of Vietnam. Flower and plants represents for new life and good fortune. Stores and street vendors sell some funky looking fruit during this time. You can see here, um, in the first picture, is the finger fruit called Buddha's canes. And the second one is the half hour watermelon. And you can also find some funny looking pineapple. Uh, you can see during the third, uh, the traditional red and yellow color symbolize wealth and good fortune. They are presenting everywhere on banners, decoration, trinkets, and also flowers that you see. Some even paint their vehicle in these true colors. And uh, what is the connection between animals and dead? Vietnamese believe in a complex zodiac system, including animals, jing and yang, the elements, and uh, the astronomical symbols. All this depending on the time that you were born, and depending even on the century itself. In combination, they determine your personality and the amount of luck that you have in your life. In the Vietnamese calendar, each year is assigned as one of the 12 animals of the zodiac, which are rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig in order. And there are five types of elements which are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. For example, Children born in the year of Buffalo are born leaders. They are hardworking, intelligent, honest, and reliable, much like the Buffalo. During that, offerings are made to the gods and the, the ancestors. The gods are worshipped outside and the ancestors inside the house. The ancestors are also invited to join the family for a meal placed as an offering on the altar. Burning symbolizes the transition of the items from the current world 
to the ancestor in the afterlife. Fake money and paper models of things are usually burned to bring them wealth and comfort. You can see he has an offering on the altar to invite the ancestor to join the family for a meal. And the next part is lucky money and gift. Maintaining a close relationship between people is an important part of Vietnamese culture. This is emphasized even more during that with gift, which symbolize good wish and bring joy and luck. Children also receive money in a red envelope as a wish of luck and everything good in the new year. Many unique dishes are prepared for welcoming the new year. Bánh chưng or chưng kẹt is a dish that embodies the spirit of Vietnamese New Year. The square shape represents the earth, once believed to be a square. The fillings of vegetable and meat represent all living beings on earth. And the green leaves that cover it representing the parents' care for their children. Among others, some other important and essential dishes are soy gok, rustic rice, uh, chicken, thịt đông, frozen meat, and so Vietnamese sauces, and others, um, for example, hạt dưa, melon seed, dưa hành, pickle onions. So what should we do during that? The first thing is to wear bright color. Red is preferred. It is believed new bright color clothes, especially those in red and yellow, bring good luck and prosperity. Smile and the old and start a new year with a smile. It will bring joy and happiness to you and others around you. Give our gift. Gifting, um, gifting exchanging is a big part of Vietnamese culture. Uh, and doing so will enhance your relationship even further. Visit relatives and friends eat and talk about good things. You also um, can go to pagodas to pray for good health and good luck. On the other side, you should not um, wear black, wear something colorful to symbolize life, not black to symbolize death. Sweep. Don't sweep the house on the first day of the new year, as it means you are sweeping all the good things out. Argue and shout. You should avoid going, arguing at this time, as it will set a bad mood for the new year. Be cruel, following the principle of Buddhism, you should do good deeds. One of those is not killing animals and setting them free. This is often done with birds. And um, as Anturit, um, you should know that the most important part of that is uh, family. On the first few days of the new year, some museums, art galleries, and some business are also closed. Shopping is so limited and it's not the best time for culinary exploration. exploration. And uh, you can see here, if the, on the first day of Lunar New Year, streets look like that, you know, no people. And people from the city go back their hometown and city people may go travel or stay at home with their family. And uh, thank you for listening.